Hey everybody, welcome back to Breakfast with Bob from beautiful Edmonton, Canada. My name is Bob Babbitt. We're brought to you by Master Spas, S Fuels, Go Longer, Quintana Roo, Hoka One One, Forum Smart Swim Goggles Suit Sports, the original triathlon brand, Premium Plus Sports, and of course, our Challenge Athletes Foundation. Our next guest coming off her fourth place, <laughs> Kellen <laughs> Roth. <laughs> Your third fourth. My third Your fourth. Your third fourth at Challenge know, Roth. Laura yeah. Siddle joins us. How are you doing, Laura? I'm good. How are you, Bob? I am spectacular. I feel we're getting late in the day. In St. George, it was brunch time with Bob. And now, and now, now like we're in beers, evening. Beers with Bob. Nightcaps. Beers with Bob. Mm, that should have been it. Bob. We could, beers with Bob. Beers with Bob. We could do. I like that. We could definitely do it. But no, fourth there is the seventh at St. George. Yeah. Now, St. George, that's a Laura Siddle course. Yeah. Like it was hard. Yeah. Long. <laughs> yeah. Tough. Slow. Grind yeah. everyone down. No, no, as in slow, like. Slower than slower, your typical yeah, flat, yeah. fast it, Ironman. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Grinds yeah, everyone down. Yeah, yeah. So I loved it. Yeah. So that's what's so great about this Canada race. It's, <laughs> it's, it's just like that. So long, <laughs> it's so it's long. It's just long. like that. It's so there's, <laughs> there's, you know, it's just one. You put your head down that's on the it. bike and just you put grind your away. Power and grind away. It's going to be really tough for everyone. Yeah, yeah, They're just going to break. No. So I like it. You look at the prize person. You go, I, I don't see myself on there. What? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's But this combination of, you know, it's sort of like when, when we had that Daytona race for the yeah. first time and you had the ITU races, racers and the 70.3 and the full people coming together to see what happens, 100K. Yeah. This is 100K. Yeah. And it's a lot of fast people. It is. I mean, look, it's fantastic for the sport. Yes. And, um you know, the prize, pun it, prize purse is obviously incredible, um, and that's why it attracts a lot of people. Um, I think it's going to be great to see the see the short course athletes and the ITU athletes racing this distance. Yes. It's, you know, it's not quite a half distance, so it still kind of favors them, and I think it favors them with the the lapped course and and the lap swim and the start of it. I think we're in the we're in the pro briefing this morning and. He sort of kept saying, oh, we don't need to go over this because you all know it. And we're like, no, we, we haven't done IT racing, ITU racing before. This is new to most of us. Like yes. we're long distance racing where, you know, so it is very different, which, you know, it's a, it's a challenge. It's something different. You know, you feel you you want to come and support the first PTO first, Open. Well, million dollar um, prize purse. Yeah. So, which is yeah. great for the sport. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and you've good. been involved with the, basically when the PTO first came to life. Yeah. And so you've seen where it started and where it is. Yeah. Yeah. Are you yeah. happy with the progression? Yeah, I mean, look, I think change and doing things differently it always takes a bit of time uh -huh. and um, there's different paths to get there. So uh -huh. I think, you know, I think the general direction and it's really exciting to see, you know, like prize purses like this yes. and races like this, it's, which is great. And I think there's some really good things happening. Um, do I agree and and with everything that's going on? No, but right. then do you ever agree with everything that yeah. an organization does? But I think, you know, on the whole we're probably moving in the right direction in and, and hopefully that those benefits are going to come in those years to come and for the athletes coming through for the next right. generation. To me, the, the thing that's been important is uh, when I hear uh, pros say, hey, at the beginning of the season now, that's the first thing I'm looking at. I'm looking for the PTO events. Yeah. Because one, I know we're going to be treated well. I know the prize money is going to be great. And I build my season around those. I'm going to Canadian Open, hopefully, if I yeah. can get the invite. I'm going to the uh, U.S. Open. Hopefully, I go to Collins Cup. Yeah. And then, uh, then there's still Ironman, Roth, and some of the other big things. But it's that's such a chance. Three years ago, we didn't have that. No, exactly. And I think that's where, you know, and I think it's going to take a couple of years to kind of settle out. And right. so people get the rate. They know when the races are coming. So. Right. You know, we need to get those dates out of the PTO races in advance so that people can plan their seasons right. round. Yes, good point. And I think, you know, I think in a couple of years, once we get the ball rolling and the races have happened a few times and we start to see this this tour and this series of races mm -hmm. where it's, you know, there's similar athletes up against each other every weekend, or not every weekend, but in, in every race. Right. And then you've got new up and comers and the challengers coming in. I think that's where we're going to see the real, the real value. And I think that's when it's going to be really exciting. Well, the other thing I'm excited about when I was talking to Charles the other day, and he said that we're going to have the time slot on Eurosport right after Tour de France on yeah. Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, yeah. So the women's race will be on right after Tour de France. Yeah. It's, Tour de France is basically your appetizer. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's where we're leaving, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. They're the domestic. Yeah, that's right. And, and the yeah. same thing on Sunday. Yeah. That's great for the sport. Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, I think what the the team are doing around getting that coverage and working with those those broadcast partners right. is is incredible and like, you know, yeah, we've never had that before. So Ever. hopefully it's 
Saturday and Sunday this weekend, it's the start of something really big. I also think that other race series are understanding that they need to up the ante, right? I yeah. think I see more, it's great. You see yeah, Iron Man I doing more so. video, yeah. more interviews with the athletes, more showcasing of the pros, yeah. which uh, I think PTO has a big part to do with. Yeah, I mean, I think if you look at all the other sports that have been successful in um, getting that fan base, getting that support from outside the sport, mm. they're, they're the ones that have shown shown the athletes, shown the characters, shown the stories behind it. It's built, not just build stars, build the star. And also then yeah. the coverage on race day, it's you, you get the coverage of the whole, the whole race, not mm -hmm. just the top, the top, the first athlete, you know, right. you're getting all the, the, the person who's in the lead or the, right. whatever the competition is, you, you get the whole, the whole event and then all those stories around it. And that's kind of what we need to do is to create those stars, I guess, from, from the long distance sport. Right. <laughs> well, and if we look at what's, what's resonating in the sport yeah. on television, Super yeah. League has yeah. been great. Yeah. Uh, mixed Relay yeah. has been great. Short, fast, cover it in a short time frame yeah. on TV. Now with this race, three loops and a swim, yeah. multiple loops on a bike. Uh, makes it way better to cover, yeah. right? From a, and from a television perspective, probably better to watch. Yeah, I mean, it, it's then that's where it's hard because, um, and you know, you look at the Olympics and the Olympics is probably going to go to sprint distance and mixed team yes. relay rather than the traditional Olympic right. distance. And our attention spans seem to be a lot shorter <laughs> these days. And, exactly. and I guess that's the battle where you're trying to sell the long course athletes and the long course distance and the full distances. People just say it's, it's not entertaining to watch. I mean, right. I think sub seven, sub eight, I was glued was, to that yes. for the full length and it had four athletes in, albeit they had teams and I thought the broadcast was fantastic. And I think it is doable for the long right. distance. I think if we can, again, create the stars, have those stories, have all that content behind um, and have the, the right commentators in and making it right. compelling to watch and the right course, I I worry that we have to keep, and it's not just a triathlon thing, but I worry that we no, have to keep going and short and short and fast relay and fast and relays. And yeah, 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 no, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I see it. And I yeah. understand the reality is when you're to shoot 140.6 miles, yeah. right? It's, if, it's hard. If, it's, if it's not, if it's not multiple loops, you've got your yeah, choppers yeah. way out there and you're not getting yeah. reception. Oh, yeah. you saw it at, yeah, yeah. at St. George, Ironman St. Yeah. George. There's a lot of that course. Yeah. It's very difficult to shoot yeah. in. Right? You go out the, in the most picturesque places. You yeah. can't get a signal out. Yeah, there. yeah. That's so right. it's and but then, uh, but then I yeah. do. Yeah. You know, but we do cover the Tour de France. Right. They cover three thousand, three thousand, three hundred k's. Well, you right. know, two hundred k's a day or whatever. Exactly. But they have choppers and they have and it's right. Yeah. And they don't have an age group race. And they don't have an age they group race. Yeah, yeah. You can just focus on yeah. the pros and you can yeah. get those motos in there yeah. and they can follow each person yeah. and not have to worry about. Yeah. And they don't, they don't have women. They've got just yeah, the guys. Yeah, yeah. but people will sit and watch it for oh, hours. Not, for you, it's, it's phenomenal. Yeah. 140, was it 140 yeah. cyclists? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And you'll follow every inch of it. Yeah. But they, they do, they block off all those roads. And there's, but it, the financial side of that, the cities it's very pay different. a lot of money yeah. to have the tour start yeah. and finish at yeah, their yeah. location. And, you know, it's been going for... Years and years and years. So that, that's the thing. It's, you know, it's yeah, grown yeah, yeah. and grown and grown and developed. So we're very, it's a tradition. we're starting out, which is great. Right. And I think we're on something good. And hopefully, yeah, hopefully yeah, exactly. we'll see that. Hey, I, listen, I, when you tell the right stories, yeah. long distance is intriguing because you're able to tell those age group stories. So, yeah. And we wouldn't be where we're at without the, what Ironman has done with the, with the Challenge Athlete yeah. stories. Yeah. Those things resonate. And I think people can relate to those. And to be able to make the pros relatable, you've got to invest like PTO has in the backstories. That's it, because there's so many, so many of the, the pro athletes have come from, oh. or they are just ordinary people. We are, we are ordinary people. Like right. we've all got the same things we're, we're dealing with at home and you never know right. what, and, and there's some incredible stories from the athletes and how they've no turned lives around or the ups and downs they've gone through. And I think that's, yeah, making it relatable to people to see actually, yeah, they're just one of us kind of thing. Well, to me, that's you know, really one, what I've always enjoyed with this show is a lot of people think that our pros started out like LeBron James, yeah. where they, yeah. you know, in high school, they found out he was a good basketball player and there was all this money being invested in this person a whole bit. And he had a path to being a pro his whole life. Yeah. And that's same for Laura Zoe. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, They don't exactly, realize yeah. military, they don't, people yeah. don't know what the background is. So when yeah. they hear that, listen, I was an age grouper yeah. and I had no idea I'd be good at this. 
and all of a sudden I found out I was. Yeah. That or and I, I was didn't uh, start didn't yeah. start the sport till I was twenty nine. Exactly. Kind of thing. Yeah. It was sort of start the sports never, in, yeah. in the military. Uh, yeah, I did a, a gap year in the military before university, but I went on the but very you were traditional in oil. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Did school gap year, university, got the corporate job. Sport was very much the hobby. Like it wasn't, you know, and didn't have the opportunity to go through. Yeah, you ended up in Australia, and everybody's triathlon crazy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, moved to Australia with my job, and then yeah, picked up picked up triathlon then. But as a complete beginner, like having never really ridden a bike or right. or anything and you like weren't that, weren't like an athlete. I'd always, I'd always, I'd always, ha- I had always sporty. done sport, yeah, yes. um, and I did do track running, right? But short distance, you know, right. four four hundreds, eight hundreds, not anything. Long. You know, I remember half an hour run used to be. We used to have to do a half hour run. Oh, that, and that was the worst thing in the world. It was the worst thing in the world. It was so long. And now, <laughs> if I get a half an hour run on my program, like, is it worth it? Kind right, of thing. Yeah, like, why, why waste my time? <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. So I mean, I had played sport. So I had a passion for sport. Right. My whole life, and I think that's probably where was one of the pushes that came when I was making a decision between the corporate life and sport was like, I've loved sport since growing up, you know, yeah. watching the Olympics and, and that kind of thing, but never really believed I could do it because it was yeah. seen as a hobby and I was of a an era. They, they just, I was a bit too old for them bringing in all sort of the talent ID programs right. and stuff like that. So kind of didn't have that opportunity, hence why I went down the corporate path and, and that, but got to that point of going... Yeah, I didn't give my ch- myself a chance with sport when I was younger, and you know, you're not e- exactly you're not getting yeah. any younger now. And, and sport, in theory, has a has a lifespan. Although I think we're we're pushing that we're boundary now. That. We're expanding yeah. that as well of what we can achieve. So yeah, yeah. well, yeah. and it, it's funny because that's what the people at home are like. Yeah, oh, the, I didn't know that that guy was a hockey goalie. Yeah, and, you know, and then all of a sudden he's doing triathlon. It, yeah. That connects the dots. Yeah. there's very few sports in the world where the age group person, look at you talk about marathons, and yes, we have a pro field in marathon who go off the front and are back home before the age yeah, group yeah, yeah. finishes. Yeah. Where in our races, there's out and backs. There's got to be out and backs yeah. you know, with you know swim bike. You, you're going to see the pros. Yeah. Sometime during the day, you're going to see the pros. And they're on the same course you are, and they're a little faster. Yeah. But they relate, yeah. right? And, and people who follow you online, yeah. they be, they feel like they're your friends. Yeah, and I they, mean, it's, yeah, and it, you support them. Yeah, and they support you. It is a very accessible sport, totally. which I think also makes it hard for how then we're trying to move it forward to create it into this profession or a little bit more professional, right. because it's just been so accessible with age group you know you just come they up can and come and on. chat yeah, and like yeah. you're at the, we're on the course at the same time we're at the finish line and they you know there's such accessibility which is fantastic and it's one of the things we love about the yes. sport but it's hard it's also a hard thing to then if we want to take the sport and the professional side of the racing to that next level and, as and well. then, then your age groupers start thinking oh well who, who, who yeah. you guys are too big yeah, for yeah, yeah 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 it's it's interesting yeah. i think that's what makes our sport special when i was talking to sebastian keenley yesterday he was talking about he was not having a great race in St. George. Yeah. And the age groupers would like stop on the course and clap for him, you know, yeah. and that meant the world to him. Yeah. That, that these people didn't know him, were cared enough about him to stop and clap for them while they're doing their own yeah. race. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, there's a camaraderie there. There is. Our a, sport. Yeah. I mean, I use that as well with lo- the, in the full distance racing. You know, there's an incredible amount of energy that you can draw from the other athletes right. racing and the crowd. And like if you, give them a bit of positive or a bit of smile or just a, Hey, yes. you're doing a good job. And it, it kind of comes back to you, even no if question. you're feeling, if you're not feeling great, it actually helps, helps lift you. And yeah. So that's, that's one of the great things about being on, on course all together. I love it. Yeah. Always enjoy spending time with you, Laura. Thanks, Bob. Are we going to see too. you back in uh, the best day and try this year? We don't. Uh, uh, hopefully, 23rd. yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll get yeah. you and Lauren, and we'll have yeah. a little reunion. Yeah, hopefully there. I love it. Laura hopefully. Siddle has been our guest. Have a fun day out there. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you're going to be on this sheet. I might. I might yeah. be crossing the finish line. Come on line now. And, Come uh, on. No, no, no. I might be crossing the finish line and be ready to go for another laugh or something. Oh, see, yeah, I'm just, I'll yeah. just be warming up at that point. We done already. What am I doing the rest of my day? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. (laughs) Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Again, Bob Babbitt here at a beautiful Edmonton, Canada. Hold on, everybody. We will be right back.